Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on, well let's just show you the picture first, how gorgeous is that? We are working on our granny square shrug. It is simply divine and you know what guys, this is actually the second time I'm uploading this because I accidentally deleted the last one. <laughs> so there you go. We are working on the granny square shrug today and we are starting with part one and part one is this gorgeous square that you see right here. Now what happens with part one is all you're doing is creating your square. By the time you're finished with part one, you would have gotten to maybe this. No, you wouldn't. You would have probably gotten to this size. All right. And then I ask you to head off on your own and complete your square. So when you head off and complete your square, I forgot to mention at the end of the tutorial, don't cast off. Get to the end of your square and leave your thread attached because you will need that. Um, to join your piece together all right when we do part two for now what you need is um, well this is the yarn I'm using today and it's the same yarn I used when I created the first one it's the landscape lion brand now I oh, it's to die for have a feel of that it's just simply divine now the hook I'm using it does call for let me show you quickly it does call for, I think it's a 5 or a 6.5 hook. I can't remember now. Let's get a nice close up there. A 6.5. I'm using an 8 today. I'm sorry, let's try that again. I'm using a 7 today. Now in the original tutorial, I jumped from 6.5 to 5 to 7. I have no idea what I did. But for this one, I'm actually using the 7 all the way through um, until the very end of our um, shrug. Okay. So I didn't mean to yell, yell on the camera there, <laughs> sorry guys. You will need your hook, you will need your scissors and you will need your darning needle. Now you probably won't need it because um, you may not get through a whole skein of yarn in this tutorial. But when you get through a skein of yarn, I show you how to change colours as well and um, add that. Oh, this is upside down for starters. How's that? No, it's not. There it is. That's the right way. Hello, Mary. Wake up. Um, so I show you how to change yarn as well within this tutorial. So when you head off on your own and, and expand your piece and make it as big as your measurement is, um, you will know how to weave in your ends and so on. All right. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to let you get started uh, creating your gorgeous granny square shrug. Good luck, guys. Alrighty guys, we're going to start off by forming a slip knot and that's grabbing the tail end of your yarn, wrap it around your finger once and twice. You're holding it there and you're holding it down there, okay? Grab your back loop, pass it halfway over your finger, hold it there. Grab the other loop, passing it all the way over, pop your hook in and just give it a tug. Alright, now we're going to start off by making a chain of five and a chain is yarn over your hook pull a loop through your stitch once yarn over twice yarn over three times yarn over four and once again five so these are the little chains that you're looking at yes now you're going to pop your hook directly into now let's just do that a bit directly into the very first chain that you made. Pop your hook in there like so. You've got your two loops on top and one on the bottom. Grab your loop, pulling it through those two loops and just pulling your stitches down. And you can see that little thread across there. Okay, so pull your stitches down that way and then just pulling that loop through to the loop on your hook. Don't let go of everything yet. Chain one and two and three. Grab your stitch marker, pop it in that chain. Probably would have paid to do that later so you don't move your work around, okay. All we're going to do is crochet over this tail and we're going to be working inside this centre right here. So yarn over your hook, we're going to form a double crochet through the centre. Yarn over your hook, into the space, pull a loop through like so, making sure you're holding everything, yeah. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two, and you're going to do that again. Into the space, pull a loop through, 
three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So what you have is one double crochet, two double crochets, and this chain three will act as your third double crochet in this round. Chain one and two. That's a corner. Okay, not yet, but it will be in a moment. <laughs> You're going to pop another three double crochets in that space and off you go. Still crocheting over your tail if you feel like it. We will be weaving that in again later as well. So it's double the work, but that's what we need to do. Two and three. All right, so you've got your one, two and three. And you're going to chain two again for another corner, one and two. And in the same space, you're doing three double crochets yet again. One, two, three. Make your corner again, chain one and two. So we've got one set, two sets, Three sets, we need one more set of three double crochets. Still crocheting over your tail if you like. And I say if you like because if you struggle to work around your chains whilst the tail is there, you're welcome not to do this and then weave it in with us later anyways. All right, just grab that tail and pop it at the back now because that will be classified as the back of your work. This is the front of your work. Even though we'll be doing a lot of turning, okay? Normally we would chain two and slip stitch. For this piece, um, from memory, I did not chain two. I chained one. And then I did a single crochet in the top of that chain. So you're popping your hook in that chain where your stitch marker is. Take out your stitch marker and do a single crochet. So you're pulling a loop through like so. Oh, it's very tight. <laughs> it's very, very tight. Like so. Two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. All right. So that has closed up your square. Okay. Now you're going to chain one, two, three. Stitch marker in. You could put your stitch marker in after you turn if you like. Because uh, it's a little bit difficult to um, do your single crochet in it at the end of the row. When you do it in before in fact I think we'll leave it and we'll do the turn first in that space you are doing two double crochets so one and two all right now if you wanted to you can pop that stitch marker in it's a little tricky to see this color I'm sorry about the blue guys but it does make a beautiful jacket this color so there you go you pop your stitch marker in the top of your chain there in that chain three that's your double crochet stitch your double and that's your chain three stitch all right and then you're going to jump straight into that corner you're going to skip over all of these stitches so yarn over your hook skip these stitches jump into that corner space with three double crochets one two and three chain two one and two and you're doing another three double crochets in the same corner one two and three and from here you're skipping over these three double crochets hopping into your very next corner with three double crochets chain two three double crochets or as we say in the crochet world a double cluster set okay one and two chains and three double crochets one two and three guess what you're doing the same thing in the next corner three two three or a double cluster set of three double crochets chain two and three double crochets chain one and two and three double crochets one two and three all right, 
So what you have now is that your square is not closed, okay? You've got half a corner here, a full corner, a full corner, and a full corner. So full, three full corners and one half. So we need to close that corner up. So what you're going to do is jump straight into that corner with the last, or I should say should be the first, three double crochets. So pop in your three double crochets without splitting the yarn. One, two, and three. Yes. Now, remember how we joined the corner before? We chained one only, and then we did a single crochet in the top of that chain stitch. I might just have to take my stitch marker out because mine are really tight. All right, so let's find that stitch again. There it is. Pop into the chain with your single crochet. And that's your hook in, yarn over, pull through two. All right, chain one, two, three. Turn your work. All right, and that's exactly what you're going to do over and over again. Keep doing this row over and over again. However, it's going to change now because we have spaces in the middle or actually I should say on the sides of your uh, square. So let's start your corner in this space again. Just being careful not to pop your, your work here because it skips the two. You have to make sure you are in the centre there. So yarn over your hook and do your two double crochets. One and two. Because remember the chain three acts as a double crochet. You can pop your... Um, stitch marker in there if you like like that all right and now you go skip over these three double crochets jump straight into that center space with only three double crochets off you go all right so there's your three now we've come up to a corner. You're going to put what? Your double cluster set of three, two, three. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one and two. And three double crochets. Whoops, one, two, and three okay so what you've formed is that a side and a corner and then you're going to jump straight into that space with because it's a one space only on the side with three double crochets only one two three and in that corner it's three, two, three, like you've been doing all along. So three double crochets. Sorry about the noise, that's my stitch marker along the table there. Chain one and two, three double crochets. One, two, and uh, three. There's your side space before your corner. You're putting just three double crochets in there. One, two, and three. And then what are we doing from here? We're jumping into our corner with a three, two, three. One, two, and three. Chain one and two, and three again. One, two, and three. One last side to go, all right? So we're gonna pop three double crochets in that side space. One, two, 
and three. All right, and from here, I'll bring that out for you a little bit. Okay, from here, what you've got is a full square. All right, we still haven't finished that corner yet. So every row will be like this. However, in your next row, you have two spaces. So you need to put three, three, and then three, two, three. We'll start on this side. So three, 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 two, three. Three, 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 two, three. Three, 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 two, three, and so on. When you get to this side, you put a three there and you'll put another three in the space that we're going to make now. But in the meantime, we want to finish this corner. Now being very careful, like I said before, not to put your three double crochets there. You want to make sure you pop it in the space, the chain space. So yarn over your hook and do your three double crochets in that chain space. Two and uh, three. Now remember the last corner doesn't have ch two chains, it has just one. Chain one and in that stitch right there a single crochet and I've split the yarn. Of course I have. All right, let's get rid of that. And there is your single crochet directly in that stitch there. All right, so super easy, the pattern at this stage. All you're doing is forming this square and you are doing that row over and over again. And the row you are doing, one more time I'll start you off, you are chaining one, two, three, turning your work. Remember to always turn your work. Again, you want to make sure you are in the corner. Yes, three double crochets there, three on this side. Make sure you're putting your two double crochets in the corner like so. All right, and there you go. You can pop your stitch markers in if you like. I'm really sorry about the color, guys, but I really love the color and I just wanted to do it in this color. All right, so what you're going to do, your job now is to do just that. Keep doing this square over and over and over and over again until you get to, now let's talk about measurements, all right? Every row that you get to, you will gain another space. So in this row, in the row before, you only had one space for a side set. In this row, you have two spaces. So you'll put it three in there, three in there, and then your normal corner cluster, yeah? The next row, you'll have three spaces, one, two, three, and you'll be putting three in the first, three in the second, three in the third, and then your three, two, three in the corner, all right? And that's what will happen through every row. And when you get to the corner section, you make sure you've got the space, you do your three double crochets, chain one, single crochet in the top stitch, chain three, turn, or turn, chain three, whichever suits you. Make sure you are turning in every round, and that will actually keep your square centered. All right, let's just talk quickly about measurements. Uh, the last time I did one of these, I made it a tad small for me, okay? So it depends on your measurement really, but I'm giving you a rough measurement here. And what I'm going to do right now is just pop some measurements right there, okay? Now yours truly will be using the 104.14 uh, centimeters or uh, 41 inches. I'll be using the 41 inches. Now I'm actually a large to extra large so I'll be doing the 41 inches. Last time I used 39 and that kind of caught me out a little bit and it was a tad, it wasn't really small, I just had to pull it really tight to get it over my body and I don't want that, okay. Once you get to that measurement, meet me back here and we will talk about part two of your granny square shrug. Before you go, just quickly, let's have a quick chat about um, how we add um, yarn. Like when you finish one skein of yarn and you wanna grab another. All right, so let's grab some yarn. All right, so you've done your gazillion rows and you've run out of yarn. I haven't, because I did start a new yarn and I forgot to um, um, show you, but I'm going to do that quickly now. Uh, let's say you ran out of yarn, you just pop your next cluster set, and it's a good thing to show you too. Just, oh, let's try that again. <laughs> Hello. 
all right you just pop your next cluster set in and you can do this anywhere you like preferably do this and change your yarn in a corner it is a lot better to do it there but if you've got halfway through your umpteen billion row and you've got like you know 40 clusters in a row you don't want to be coming all the way back if you don't want to I would I would come all the way back and do the change the color change in the corner but let's say you are three quarters of the way through and you don't want to do that so what you do is yarn over your hook start your stitch like normal yarn over pull through two hold it there grab that thread at the back grab your new yarn pop it over your hook pull it through the last two loops and what you're doing is now taking both the tails of your yarn at the back and you are doing a normal, hold on to them like that there, and you're doing a normal double crochet in there. So you now have three double crochets and the middle one has loops that you need to weave in and you can do that later. All right. But in the meantime, you are jumping straight into your next space with your... Oh, your next cluster set now that is not knotted guys so that will come undone if you do not weave that in properly I'm going to show you how to weave that in properly on the very next tutorial that we do part two of this tutorial so what you do is keep working changing your colors where it needs changing now just quickly once again because you know that's the sort of person I am I'm going to take this undone and I'm going to go into the corner and show you why I prefer the corner. Oh, this is a sort of yarn too, guys. If that happens to you, let me take it undone like that. Give it a gentle tug, don't pull like I'm doing. This yarn will, it will get stuck like that, see? Just give it a gentle tug. Oh, it doesn't work, another gentle tug, and just keep going until, it just doesn't want to come undone, it really doesn't. <laughs> there we go. And if it doesn't work, give it a bit more of a tug. It's okay. You're not going to damage the yarn. Be careful though. If you pull it too tight, it will um, break on you. So be very careful. All right. So this is where I would like you to change your yarn. All right. Let's take the chains undone. Let's take, and of course it's going to knot right there, isn't it? <laughs> I'll take that last double crochet undone there. All right. So you've got your two double crochets. You're going to do a third one start it drop your yarn grab <laughs> your new one that I've knotted everywhere here it is hello grab your new thread pop it over the hook pull the loop through like so hold it with your fingers at the back like you did before chaining one and two and then you are doing your normal last three double crochets like so two and three and you are jumping directly into your next space like normal with three double crochets all right now when you come back around at the end of this row and then you come back around and you come across that knot there I'm gonna be, make a big mess here <laughs> for me but it'll be right for you let's just say we come across that knot I'm just going to pop one in here. I'm going to have to make sure I don't do this too tight. It's going to be hard to come undone. Don't worry about this part, guys. You're in your cluster beforehand, right? So you're doing your last cluster, two and three, right? Then you are going to jump into that centre. Now, remember these two tails? One of them, it's up to you. You can crochet over, give it a tug, yeah, crochet over it, and you will still weave that in as well. This other one, you're going to sew into the bottom of that uh, set right there and you're going to weave that in and out a few times. Now, if you don't want to do that, just do your normal crochet set. One, two, and three. Chain one and two, and then your three. And then guess what we're going to do? Let's pretend I've done three. I don't want to do any more because I'm knotting everything up here. Look at the mess I'm making. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> I'm knotting it all up. Let's pretend there's three, two, three there. 
when we uh, turn around, we'll notice our tail is there. If by any chance your tail, now this is something I would actually like for you to do. Grab your stitch marker. Pop your stitch marker on the right side of your work. Okay, now that's the side that does not have the tail. Okay, so that will be the right side of your work. Let's just show you close up. It's nowhere anywhere. It's just between one of the stitches. The right side of your work, in fact, I'm, that's going to come undone. So I won't pop it there. I'll do it in a corner. All right, so the right side of your work, yeah. Whenever you come to uh, an area that you're going to weave in a tail, if you don't want to weave it in until the end next tutorial, I'll show you how to do that. That's okay. Um, but whenever you come to that tail, if it lands on the right side, you need to grab a needle and pop it through to the back. All right. Don't leave any ends on the right side of your work. Always on the wrong side. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to weave that first tail in. All right, so grab your um, needle and thread and thread it. This is where the tail is. All right, so we crocheted over this tail. You're thinking, well, I'm going to just cut it here and leave it there. No, don't do that. Weave it in again one way and then weave it in again the other. People say to me sometimes, I don't know why my work came undone in the wash. Personally, I don't wash in a wash machine. I never wash my gear in a wash machine, but a lot of people do, and that's okay. You need to weave that tail into your work. All right, this is the back of our work, guys. Weave the tail through these stitches right here. Make sure you can't see the needle here from the front, and you can't. Just see it from the corner there, because that's a space. You're going to pop your thread through like so. Yep. Turn over and do it in the next three as well. Make sure you can't see the needle. It's just sticking out of the corner, but you really can't see it. It's in there. Yep. Like so. And one more time, and then we'll go back the other way. Can you see the needle? Nope. Just through the corners, which is normal because, you know, they're sticking out there. So what you're going to do now, you're going back in the same direction that you were coming through. But make sure you skip another stitch. And I'm just going to go right through the whole six stitches. Why? Because I'm a bit of a, you know, show off. But <laughs> don't show off, guys. Um, pull that loop right through like so. I think I'll do one more because you know I'm a bit of a stickler and my regulars know how fussy I am with ends. I don't like doing them, but I'm extremely fussy. Check the front, all good. Pull that loop through. Now you can grab your scissors and give your work a cut, all right? All righty, here we go. Couldn't find them, guys, sorry about that. So giving your work a cut, making sure you're not cutting your work. <laughs> All right, so there it is. But don't forget, you're thinking, oh, no, now I've cut it. I don't know what's the right side or the wrong side. Yes, you do, because we added the stitch marker on the right side of our work. All right, just be weary that that stitch marker does not spin around and go into that. If you're really worried, I will tell you at the end of our piece, which is your right side and your wrong side anyway. So don't stress too much. Now, in the meantime... Every other end that you have goes through to the wrong side of your work and then you start weaving in. I'm not going to do that because that's, I don't want to damage what I'm doing <laughs> at that moment. But there you go. So now your job is, now where's that little piece? Right here. To continue, move this out of the way. Your job is to continue. Now we've already done, oh, let's bring this up and through. We've already done our turn and our first three double crochets. Now we're going to skip these three, do three in there, three in there, and then three, two, three there. Three, 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 two, three. Three, 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 two, three, three, three. And don't do anything there because that's your corner, all right? So what I want you to do, continue this row for me just for the moment. 
get to that last space and I'll talk about your next row, okay? So continue that row, get to the last space and I'll meet you there in a moment. Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of the row. Let's get a nice close up for you. I still have that one space. I still have the last space to do before the corner. So you do your spaces right there and three. All right. So what you should have is one, two, corner, one, two, corner, one, two, corner, one, two. And now we are going to complete the corner. All right. So you've got one, two, three. Make sure you pop your last three double crochets in the right space. One, two, and three. And remember what we do to join it? We chain one and we single crochet, and I'm sorry, I've taken out my stitch marker, but single crochet into your stitch marker, like so. Pull the loop through and do your single crochet. All right, chain one, two, three, turn your work again. Remember popping your two double crochets in the space and not in the double crochet area. Be careful, in the space, the big space. So one and two. So you've got your three there. Now you're going to skip the three and you've got one, two, three spaces that you need to put three, 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 two, three, 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 two, three, 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 two, three, and then three, two, three, three, and then you do your corner. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for joining us for our part one of our Granny Square Shrug. What I would like for you to do now is to head off on your own and do your square. Keep going and going and going until you reach the measurement that suits you. Now I'll be doing 104 centimetres or 41 inches just to suit me. It's entirely up to you how big you want yours to be. I will leave the measurements again at the end of this tutorial, right at the very end. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget we have our lives at 4pm Wednesday afternoons and 10am Melbourne Australia times on Saturday as well. So we have two lives a week. We have a lot of fun. We do the wow wheel and you can win lots of prizes as well. We have so much fun. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I will see everyone on the next tutorial. Ciao for now.